This is an SQA briefing session for all senior students. It is very important that everyone understands exactly how the SQA National 5 Higher Advanced Higher Grading process works for the current session. Up until this point, you have been completing SQA courses both in school and through home learning. You have completed assessments for some courses and this assessment might contribute to your final grade. An assessment is any graded piece of work that will be used to determine your final provisional grade. Assessments can take the form of tests, folio work, essays, performances and a range of other forms depending on the course being studied. Many assessments such as folios and performances can be done on an ongoing basis but other assessments will have to be done in class time under conditions that are similar to SQA exam conditions. I will now explain how the final terms work will lead to your final provisional grade for each of your subjects being determined. The term will start on Monday the 12th of April. For the first two to three weeks your teachers will give you a settling in period. They will focus on teaching and learning, reviewing work that has been previously covered and generally preparing you for the remaining assessment and evidence gathering requirements ahead. Towards the end of April and the start of May, your teachers will start to carry out assessments that require school time for their completion. They will ensure that you have been made very aware of what will be assessed during the settling in period and subsequent lessons beyond this time. Each assessment session will typically be in class time, so many will be of roughly 50 minutes duration. For each subject, the cumulative assessment sessions involving a range of evidence will cover a very high percentage of the subject course ensuring that a high level of content is covered. Following each assessment, the subject teachers will take part in a moderation process. The moderation process will take place within our schools, but also in partnership with other schools within Fife. The SQA will also sample pupils' work within all courses across schools in Scotland. The moderation process ensures that the assessment is at the correct standard and suitable for allowing a final provisional grade to be given. The moderation process will look at the evidence gathered, the marking scheme and procedures being used and check that pupil scripts have been appropriately marked. The moderation process will allow each teacher to award provisional grades consistently and confidently for each pupil, purely based on the full range of assessment evidence produced by that pupil. At all stages of the assessment process, your teacher will keep you informed of your assessment results and ultimately will allow you to know what provisional grade you have been awarded. The final dates for the school submit provisional grades to the SQA is Friday the 25th of June, which is the first day of our school holidays. This means that we have 11 weeks of term to gather evidence and carry out moderation processes to determine a final provisional grade. It would be hoped that if there has been an issue with an assessment that would lead the teacher to believe that a pupil's grade could be improved, that the time to achieve that improvement through further study and assessment will be available. As a school, we are confident that we have the time and resources to fully deliver the course reviews and assessments that will determine each pupil's provisional grade for this session. The school would now ask of each pupil that they attend each day of term, study as hard as they can and work hand in hand with their teacher to achieve the very best exam grade outcome possible. I would encourage you to approach your guidance teacher immediately if you have any concerns or worries about the SQA certification process for this session. Thank you all for listening. I wish you all the very best of luck with your studies and assessment in the term ahead.